Now, many parents have reached out with questions about how to help their kids express emotions. Like Katja, who's featured on this slide, she asked, how do I make sure that my child is able to convey his emotions and thoughts about his experiences in a way that is understandable? Dr. White, can you address Katja's question about helping kids convey emotions and also share your thoughts on the importance of regular talks between parents and kids? Yes, so one of the other things that I learned as the coordinator of the Mr. Rogers Neighborhood Child Care Partnership and implementing um, some of the trainings with child care providers, in particular the training called What Do You Do With The Mad That You Feel, which is named after the song that Fred Rogers wrote and sang. And what I found um, in child care providers was that they did, did not have a wide range of emotions that they could actually name. So their emotions kind of range from mad to sad to glad, and there wasn't much in between. And I think that parents can, can, can start to do things like figure out what are some of the words that I can give to my child so that they can better ex express what it is they're feeling. And so for some parents, that might mean doing a little bit of their own research and learning more about emotional terms. I call it broadening your emotional vocabulary. I know parents have a whole lot to do. I'm, I, I'm not trying to give you more work, but if you feel like you don't really have the words to give to your child, then you may need to find those words.